Namaste dear students. We manifest energy in various forms and since most of our work is dependent on electricity, we are always looking for various sources of energy which can produce electrical energy for homes and industries. The conventional sources that is fossil fuels like coal which runs a thermal power station being a non-renewable source have certain limitations especially when we talk about the pollution caused. Uh, the hydro uh, power stations which uses a renewable resource that is water to produce electricity has many other disadvantages like uh, destruction of ecosystems and agricultural lands. After today's session, we will be able to analyze and understand the improvements in the technology for using conventional sources of energy like biomass and wind energy. We will also look at one of uh, the non-conventional source or an alternative source that is solar energy. You must also be familiar that wood has been used as a fuel for a long time. If we can ensure that enough trees are planted, a continuous supply of firewood can be assured. In rural areas, cow dung cakes are used as a fuel to cook food. Given the large livestock population in India, uh, this is a steady source of fuel. Since these fuels are plant and animal products, the source of these fuels is said to be biomass. Uh, but the problem is that these uh, fuels do not produce much heat on burning and a lot of smoke is released when they are burnt. When wood is burnt in a limited supply of oxygen, water and volatile materials present in it get removed, charcoal is left behind as the residue. Charcoal burns without flames and is comparatively smokeless and has a higher heat generation efficiency. Similarly, cow dung and various plant materials like the residue after harvesting the crops, vegetable waste and sewage if are decomposed in the absence of oxygen give a gas called biogas. Since the starting material is mainly cow dung, it is popularly known as gober gas. This gas is produced in a very special place called the biogas plant. The plant has a dome like structure which is built with bricks, a slurry of cow dung and water is made in the mixing tank from where it is fed into the digester. The digester is a sealed chamber in which there is no oxygen. Anaerobic microorganisms that do not require oxygen to decompose or break down complex compounds of the cow dung slurry. It takes a few days for the decomposition process to be complete and gases like methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and hydrogen sulphide are released. The biogas is stored in a gas tank above the digester from which they are drawn through pipes for use. Children remember that biogas is an excellent fuel as it contains up to 75 percent methane. It burns without smoke, leaves no residue like ash in wood, charcoal and coal burning. Its heating capacity is high. Biogas is also used for lighting. The slurry which is left behind is removed periodically and used as an excellent manure because it is rich 
in nitrogen and phosphorus. Students, it's a time for a quick recap. Slurry, mixture of cow dung and water. Digester, sealed chamber with no oxygen. Anaerobic decomposition, breaking down of complex compounds in the absence of oxygen. Biogas, which is a mixture of methane, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide. Biogas is stored above the digester and is drawn through pipes. Spent slurry used as manure because it is rich in nitrogen and phosphorus. Let's talk about another potential renewable form of energy, wind energy. Children, we know that unequal heating of the land mass and water bodies by sun generates air movement and causes wind to blow. The kinetic energy of the wind can be used to do work. For example, in a water lifting pump, the rotatory motion of windmill is utilized to lift water from a well. Today, wind energy is also used to generate electricity. A windmill consists of a structure similar to a large electric fan which is erected at some height on a rigid support. To generate electricity, the rotatory motion of the windmill is used to turn the turbine of the electric generator. The output of a single windmill is quite small and cannot be used for commercial purposes. Therefore, remember a large number of windmills are erected over an area which is known as wind energy farm. The energy output of each windmill in a wind energy farm is coupled together to get electricity on a commercial scale. Wind energy is an environmental friendly and efficient source of renewable energy. But as all resources, there are many limitations in harnessing wind energy too. Firstly, wind energy farms can be established only at those places where wind blows for a greater part of the year. The wind speed should also be higher than 15 kilometers per hour to maintain the required speed of the turbine. There should be some backup facilities like storage cells to take care of the energy needs during a period when there is no wind. The initial cost of establishment of the farm is quite high and need a high level of maintenance. As our demand of energy increases, we need to look for more and more sources of energy. And now, let's talk about the ultimate source of energy, sun. Do you know children? that the sun has been radiating an enormous amount of energy at the present rate for nearly 5 billion years and will continue radiating at that rate for about 5 billion years more. Only a small amount of solar energy reaches the outer layer of the earth's atmosphere. Nearly half of it is absorbed while passing through the atmosphere and the rest reaches the earth's surface. So now the question is, how can we harness the heat energy of the sun? Remember, 
In summers, when it is too hot and the temperature is very high, we prefer wearing uh, white clothes and not black colored clothes because a black surface absorbs more heat as compared to white. Solar cookers and solar water heaters use this property in their working. This is the model of a solar cooker. You can see that it has been painted black in color to absorb maximum heat. Solar cookers achieve a higher temperature by using mirrors to focus the rays of the sun. You can notice we have used a plain mirror over here which is going to reflect all the incident radiations of the sun into the box. We can also notice that it has been painted black to absorb the sun's radiations. Solar cookers are also covered with a glass plate which helps in the greenhouse effect. Infrared radiations enter but after getting reflected from all the sides, the longer wavelengths of light are not allowed to escape because of this glass plate. So, the interior of the box remains heated which helps to cook the food. Can solar energy be used to generate electricity? The answer is yes. Solar cells are devices that convert solar energy into electrical energy. Normally, a solar cell develops a voltage of about um, 0.5 to 1 volt and can produce about 0.7 watt of electricity when exposed to the sun. A large number of solar cells are combined in an arrangement called a solar cell panel that can deliver enough electricity for practical use. The main advantages of solar cells are that, that they do not have moving parts, require little maintenance and another advantage is that they can be set up in remote areas. Silicon which is used for making solar cells is abundant in nature. But availability of the special grade silicon for making solar cells is limited. The entire process of manufacture is still very expensive as silver used for interconnection of the cells in the panel further adds to the cost. In spite of the high cost and low efficiency, solar cells are used for many scientific and technological applications. Artificial satellites, space probes like the Mars orbiter, etc. use solar cells as the main source of energy. Radio or wireless transmission systems, TV relay stations in remote locations use solar cell panels, traffic signals, calculators and many toys are fitted with solar cells. The domestic use of solar cells is however limited due to its high cost. So dear children, we are now aware of three useful sources of energy, biomass, wind and solar energy. We know the advantages and disadvantages? Can you now find out that in a solar cooker where we have used a plain mirror can be replaced by any other spherical mirror, concave or convex? Do reason it out. Also, if possible, can you locate an area in your district village, locality where solar cell panels are used to generate electricity. You will always find them inclined at an angle. Can you think why? So till next time, keep practicing and keep questioning.
नमस्ते